Hey y'all, I'm Jen and this is Sassy Southern NC Girl and I have a um, hashtag Shopaholic Saturday collab, um, which is an open collaboration hosted by me where I do my hauls if I have any um, for the week. I have some Dollar Tree stuff for you guys as well as hobby, some Hobby Lobby clearance items except for like one thing I got. Sorry, my camera is like crooked. There we go. Um, I got this placemat. It's uh, part of that B collection that they come out with. Um, and I did not get these before and I thought it would be cute to keep on my desk for like a background when I'm filming. Um, and I also use these um, plastic type placemats. Um, and I do crafts on them because you can just wipe them off. Um, so yeah. I got that, but we'll go back to the B, B one. <laughs> um, I have, and, and in keeping with that, I do have a couple of B themed items that I got. So I picked this sign up. Um, it's tabletop decor. I couldn't remember if I had this specific one and I really love it. Um, so I got it. If I do already have it downstairs, I'll just take it to work, but it's really nice and heavy and it has black around the edges and it's just really cute. And I also picked up this Year of the Bee's Knees coffee mug. I, do, I don't need any more mugs, y'all. I don't drink coffee. I only drink hot tea and hot chocolate. But I, I couldn't pass it up. I love the bees so much. So I just got one. Um, and it is microwave and dishwasher safe. So, it, But like stuff like this, I don't necessarily drink out of. Sometimes I just display it and use it for decor on my tear tray. Tear trays because I have three. Um, and last but not least for the bee stuff, I picked this up. It's a little like hanging candle drawer, I guess. Um, but it's in that really pretty, um, I can't think what you call that color, but it's like an orangey, um, color and it kind of looks like a like a bee beehive to me um they had a clear one also um and it does have the jute with the little bee on here and so i thought that was cute i do have the other one the the taller vase looking thing with it but i wanted to add this as well um so that's all the bee stuff and now let's do some boring stuff i guess um so i picked up some more batteries um double a AA and triple a um you can't beat the price where are the triple a's for batteries at dollar tree so i try to pick them up every now and again when i think about it and i haven't picked any up in quite a while but you get eight and that's a really good deal for a dollar 25 so i did pick those up um and then i've got these i've not never had them before but i love the cinnamon crumb cakes um you get eight in here um and so i'm gonna try them um, they're not terrible either for um, the calories and stuff. It's 250 calories, but you can eat two cakes. So I thought that was pretty good. And you can heat them as well. So we'll try that and see how it is. Um, I got one thing from the teaching, well, I guess two things from the teaching tree. So I saw these, I don't know if I got these before, but there's some flowers, the large classroom decor. Um, so I did pick up a pack. Um, I'm not crazy about that, that, so I might fussy cut them and just cut out the sunflower part. So, but I just got one of those. And then I picked up another one of these, which I think these are teaching tree. Um, but when I see these, I grab them because you don't see them very often. But these are great for storing stuff and you can stack stack them. So anytime I see them, I'll pick one up because I usually only see like one at a time. So I just grab it. Um, I also picked this pin up. It's got like mermaid, a mermaid pattern. It's a 1.0 millimeter gel or not gel, a uh, glitter fashion pen. It's a black ink, um, but it's from, by Journaling Ink Plus, which is a Greenbrier um, thing, but I just thought it was so pretty, and it has glitter, so I picked that up. 
Um, and then let's go to, so I picked this up. This is a popsicle uh, bath sponge, but I'm not going to use it for that. <laughs> um, I am going to take it out of the plastic and cut this string off and put it on my tear tray for the summer because I think that would be so cute. Um, I saw um, somebody else said they were going to hang it like for the decor or whatever, but I just, I don't want to hang it. I just think it would be cute on my tear tray. So I got that. I also picked up one of these new uh, claw clips that they have in the with the fruit on them. They have watermelon, pineapple, grape, and I can't remember what the other one is. Cherries, maybe. Um, I love the watermelon one, though, so I got that. Um, I don't wear claw clips a whole, whole lot, but occasionally I will, so I picked that up. Um, also, I picked this up, the scrunchie. Um, I got it because, so my son's on two soccer teams. So he's got his high school soccer team, which is more like a royal blue color. And then he's got his club team, which is more this, it's, it's actually darker than this, but like more this color and like a burgundy-ish color. But this is like a red, white, and blue, like for 4th of July, but it'll go, I think it'll go okay. So like when I will put my hair up in a ponytail or whatever, I thought this would match pretty good in the and I do that a lot in the summer because it gets hot um also I saw I want to say Carrie at Carrie's Crafts showed these faux eyelash cases but she showed them um for sending happy mail and so I picked a couple up I only could find them at one store and I used to see them all the time and then now that I'm looking for them I can't find them but they do have the, this little pop-up thing, so they do stay closed. And she was saying she just throws this plastic piece away and she tapes down the glitter piece with um, double-sided tape. Um, and then puts like, you know, you can put, you can't put a whole, whole lot in there, but you could put like beads or, um, or something there. I actually have some beads here because my son, his bracelet broke. Kim and his sister have a matching bracelet. And so you could put, you know, you could put beads in there. Like not huge, I don't think you could put huge beads in there, but I, he asked me to restring it and I just haven't yet, but I wanted to use it as an example. <laughs> so yeah, and you could still fit quite a bit more in there. So I thought that was cute and I love anything with glitter. So. I totally stole that idea from Carrie. I got a blue one and a purple one. I think they have a pink one too. They only had these two at the store I was at, so I just grabbed two of each. Um, I also grabbed this um, eyeshadow. So you guys, I've noticed that, and I don't know if it's just this company or if it's like Dollar Tree in general, but they have started putting these $1.25 um, they're not stickers. It's like on the cardboard. Um, this is Beauty Intuition and it's the mascara, big, big curl lashes. I just wanted to try it. I love the packaging, honest to God. Um, and typically I wear pharmacy, um, makeup cause I sell it, but I couldn't resist the packaging. So I picked that up. So I'll let y'all know. If I can think about it, how it works. Uh, they also had some new lip glosses. And I thought these were so stinking cute. And the packaging, man. It's got like little sprinkles. It says just for girls. They only had one color. The pink glitter. But it's shaped like an ice cream cone. And this is not a Greenbrier product. I don't think. Um... It does have an expiration date, but not till 2026. It says formulated exclusively and distributed by Enchante Accessories. We I've said that before, the Enchante. So there was that one, and then there was this one. This is strawberry lip balm, and it looks like a. Looks like somebody tried to open that one, but they didn't. Um, Start on the center of the bottom lip, moving outward towards the edges, but sweep up, reapply as needed. So yeah, this is also that Enchante. Super cute. 
And then I did, they did get these back in stock. They had these last year. These are Global Beauty Care, the Fresh and Fruity Watermelon and Hyaluronic Acid Cleansing Wipes. I just love these. They're not makeup wipes per se, but I use them as makeup wipes. Really, I think they're just like face wipes, like, but I love the smell of them. So I picked up two of those. They had this too. This is new. It's hashtag um, got a bandage or something. Sterile. There's 20 band-aids band in here. Yeah, got a bandage brand and design elements are registered trademarks. So www.gotabandage.com says it's distributed by and manufactured exclusively for Total Resources International in Walnut, California. They had a couple. So they had this one, which has got the hashtags, outfit of the day, selfie, love, and throwback Thursday. Um, they only had one design at the store where I bought these from. And then I went to another store and they had one that had like smiley faces. Those were the only two designs I saw, but this is really cool because it has a clip and it opens like this. So once you use these band-aids, you can refill it. And so there's ones that say hashtag selfie, hashtag love, hashtag throwback Thursday. So I just thought they were cute. So I grabbed them. Really and truly, the I, I cared more about the, and you get 20 Band-Aids. So 20 Band-Aids plus the container. So I just thought that was really cool. So now I have, I mean, I keep Band-Aids at work, but still, it'll be good to keep in my purse when my son's playing soccer. And then lastly, in the health and beauty section, I picked up these. These are definitely new. They're tattoo stamp pins, and I got these for my for two of my daughters, um, cause I think they would like them. They're transfer proof. They had four different ones. They have a butterfly, a heart, a flower, and a star. Um, and you stamp it on your face. Um, and it comes right off with soap and water. So if it gets wet, it's gonna smear. However, once it dries, it won't smear as long as you don't get it wet. So I thought this was cute. I thought, but definitely my 17 year old is gonna love these. But I think my my oldest will too. Um, and then also Carrie's Crafts was saying how she buys these and puts like um, beads or sequin mixes in here. And I do have some of these, but I couldn't remember how many I had. So I picked up some more. They have the smaller ones too, but when you're sharing friend mail, I wanna be generous. <laughs> so I picked up the, the longer ones. And then I also found these, these are new. These are not, um, these are silicone straw covers, but I thought these would be cute for summer. They had, this one had, I don't know if they had different ones or not, but it was, a, this one has a star, a rainbow, a, a daisy, a cloud, a, a star with a thing behind it and a short, like a shark or a dolphin tail. I just thought these were cute. You can put them on your, um, on your straw to cover it when you're like outside. I thought those were cute. And then I got two sheets of stickers. Um, I've, I think I've had these before, but I couldn't remember. Um, and I picked up two because I wanted one and I got one to share. Um, I'm sending happy mail to somebody and I wanted to get one. Um, but I love the teacups and the spoon and the fork. I just think they're so pretty and old fashioned looking. And so I picked that up and then I got these doggies because I think there's so cute. I might have these already, but I just, I love these, these cute little doggies. And then lastly from Dollar Tree, I got these novelty erasers. They had ice creams and donuts. I'm going to use them on pokey tools because you can stick a hole through there or stick them directly through the pokey tool and make cute little Pokey tools for friends. So that's the ice cream, the ice cream one. And then this is the donut one. So I thought these were cute. Were cute. I immediately thought of Tony from Creative Chica Halls and Crafts and um, Crafts and More, Shops and Halls and 
craft some more. She has two channels now. I immediately thought of her when I saw those. So that's my Dollar Tree haul. I'm going to pause you guys real quick while I put all this away, and then I'll be back with my Hobby Lobby haul. Okay, guys, I also wanted to say that I have heard that at Dollar Tree, they're going to be having Happy Planner stickers again, the, the full sticker books. I think there's four at least. If you guys see them, if you could pick them up for me and sh and I'll pay you for them, um, just in case I'm not able to find them here, I am really, really, really on the hunt for those. Um, those Happy Planner sticker books, because I do plan. Um, I don't do it as much on my channel as I would like, um, but I'm trying to get back into it. So if y'all could help me out with that, that would be fantastic. So I bought two things from Hobby Lobby that were not clearance. I got this glitter cardstock book because I cannot find one anywhere else that's cheaper. Michaels might have it, but I don't go to Michaels very often. Um, so I did pick this up. It was 40% off this week. Uh, well, today is the last day, so um, it'll be another two weeks. It'll Next week it won't be on sale. It'll be on sale the week after. Um, I got it for, it was $23.99, and I got it for $14.39. Um, but you get 30 sheets in 10 colors, so you get three of each. Um, and these are the colors on the front, but I was just going to flip through it real quick. So you get... You get all these. I use a lot of glitter, I realized. So I had to get more because I am out. Now I do have neutral glitters that I did get from Michaels, I think. I have the brown, it's like gold, silver, and black or something like that. But I, I wanted more. <laughs> so I picked that up. And then the only other thing I got that wasn't clearance was were these cut cutlery holders. You get four of them. Liana on Is A Deal showed these, and honestly, I was not going to get them, but then I was thinking like she was, how you could put, um, happy, like, you know, some happy melon there, and I want to do, I think I want to do a 4th of July swap, you guys, so if anybody's interested, um, be looking out for that, um, be looking out for that, um, and so, of course, they were 40% off, and so I paid... Uh, 209 for these so about 50 cents a piece which is not bad because these are felt they're thick too you guys I don't want to open it but like they're really nice okay and then next um I also Liana like I've seen these a million times but then when she showed them I was like yeah I better get them so they have these for 19 cents and I feel like they keep marking them down because they were more, I think. I don't know if I can. Let me see if I can peel that off and see what it was before. I think it's going to rip it. Maybe this one. But I got two of these, the one with the stars, because I can make bows and um, because I have bow dies and I have flower dies. They were 49. So they marked them down to 19 cents from 40. And I, honestly, I might should have got another one, but I have a feeling that they'll still be there if I go back next week. And I might go back next week when I get paid because I'll tell you why. Um, I went to my one Hobby Lobby. So I have a Hobby Lobby I go to in um, Kentucky and one I go to in Tennessee. And then also when my son's at soccer in Nashville, sometimes I'll go to the ones out there. But I don't get to do that very often yet. Um, that's mostly in the like fall and uh, winter. But um, these are so pretty. And so I tried to get ones that didn't have a whole lot of brown in them because it does have brown. So I got two of those. And then I also got this one. Because I just think the pattern is really cool. And again, to make bows and flowers and maybe even rosettes. Might even, I mean, I, obviously I can't make like a ton of stuff. And these were originally $1.99, y'all. So $1.99 to $0.49 cents and then to $0.19. Cents. So pretty cool. And it is faux leather, I guess you could say. So I got that. So 20 cents each for that. This keeps sliding. Um, and then I did get some more stickers, y'all. Um, but what I was saying about the Hobby Lobby. So the one Hobby Lobby I went to um, is in Kentucky is the one that I went to a couple of weeks ago when I did my haul. And they had not marked down all their stickers. Um, so when I went back yesterday, 
No, I went today. I went this morning. They they had finished marking down stuff as well as they had done some other stuff. But not as much as my store in Kentucky. So I'm going to go back to the one. I'm, I'm sorry. Not as much as the one in Tennessee. So I want to go back to the one in Kentucky next week because hopefully they'll have marked all their other stuff down. Um, and I'm still waiting for that paper. I hope they mark the paper down. I don't know that they will, but if they do. Um, so I got two of these mini sticker books from Paper Studio. Um, it's the farmhouse and it has lemons in it and sunflowers. Um, and I bought the big ones um, when they were on sale because they're not clearanced. But they have, here, I'll open one up for y'all. They have the cutest stickers in here. So if you guys see these, um, and they're only 99 cents and they were $3.99. So even at 40% off, they would only be what, a, they would they would still be like a dollar or something, $2, I don't know. But you get 12 sheets. There's 179 stickers total. But they are so cute, y'all. Okay. So look. Look at the lemons and the flowers and the cows and the... I mean, I'm not crazy about the farm, actual farm stuff. But like the other stuff I think is so cute. I love the flowers and those vases. There's some wreaths. And these are clear. Clear stickers. There's some flowers. Lemons just really cute. I thought they had sunflowers, but I guess they're not. They're more like uh, marigolds. I'm pretty sure the big book had sunflowers. But I could be wrong. I thought those were sunflowers. But anyway, still cute. So I did get the two that they had. Um, and then I picked up some more of the B die cut stickers. These are great stickers, you guys. And I'm still gonna do... Um, I might put some of these. So I have a bee journal for sale. I'm gonna, I think I put it in my Ko-Fi shop, but it's it's on my Etsy shop, but I think it's going to be cheaper in my Ko-Fi shop because I don't have fees to pay. Um, but $1.24, y'all, and you get 36 You get three of each design. So I got that. I picked up another one of the sunflower um, stickers because, again, I want to share it. Um with somebody. I picked up these army stickers. I didn't see these last time, but for you, for those of you that don't know, my husband is active duty army. So I got those. And then I also got them. I did break down and get the military sticker book. There was only one. I went ahead and got it for two reasons. One, because I thought I might regret it at some point <laughs> if I didn't. And two, um, cause I can use some of this for 4th of July. So here is, it says Courage, Patriot. There's just some different duty calls. Um, you know, just some different, proud to be an American. Um, different sayings. And then there's like washi. I can even use these in my planner. I just love these. Honor, USA, Hero. And then some letters. I just, I decided to get it because I was like, and um, they only had it at one store and only one. So for $1.49, I didn't want to pass it. So I got that. I did pick up another one of these, y'all, because I love these so much. And I can, like, yes, I can make them, but these are just too cute. And I absolutely love the one with the stars. So cute. Um, and then I picked this one up. I didn't see this one before, but it's um, it was 87 cents, and it's just the dog name. And then I picked up a soccer one for my boy. And then I did go ahead and pick up the peaches. I wasn't going to, but then every time I kept looking at them, they were like calling me. I only got one, but they're super cute, y'all. So I picked those up. Um, do I need more stickers? No. <laughs> But that's okay. Okay, you guys, they mark down the buttons if you don't know. Um, I only got four. Um, I got these um, Soology. They're kind of like vintage looking. They have like flowers and, and different stuff. That's the only reason I got them. 
um, you get 12. They were $3.99, marked down to 99 cents. And I got these stars because I thought I could use them for 4th of July. They were $2.99, marked down to 74 cents. And they have uh, rhinestones in them. And then I got two of the bigger packs. These were $7.99, marked down to $1.99. I got the cream, the cream colored ivory ones. And then I got these green ones, both for $1.99, because I thought these would be super. And it's funny, because I made some buttons with resin that kind of look like that. I'm gonna get them and show y'all. Okay, y'all, so here's the buttons I made. I'm gonna put them on the back of this so you can, can see better. So these are the buttons I made and they look very similar. I've showed these before, but it's been a while. But they're very, um, very, very similar. Not in color, but style. So there's those. And then if you look at these, they're very, very similar. Like that one right there is almost exactly like that one. That one right there and that one. So um, I'm thinking about putting these in my Ko-Fi shop too. These, these buttons that I made. Oh, and here's another one. <laughs> and I can make them in all different colors. So I'll probably do that because I have a video with some new stuff I'm putting in my shop coming up. So I think I will add those buttons to the mix. Um, and then also they had some of the jewelry that's up in the front by the checkout. I picked this up because you get six bracelets for $3.74 and these were $14.99. One says, they only had one and I checked at both stores and only one store. Chase Joy, Be Kind, Dream Big, Never Quit, Love More and Be The Light. And I'm gonna share some of these, I think. And then I picked up a couple of these because also I'm going to share these. This is their watermelons. They had the pineapple one, but that one was like a, almost $2. And this was only 87 cents. And it has a little bead and it's a keychain, but you know, you could use it as a dangle or whatever. So I picked up three of those for 87 cents to share or put in a giveaway. I don't know. I might keep one of them, but. And then last but not least, you guys, I got some ribbon. So I did not know that they were gonna mark the ribbon down, but I'm so excited. N do I need more ribbon? No, I don't. And matter of fact, I have ribbon, um, a mystery ribbon kits in my Ko-Fi shop, um, but I can just add whatever I don't use of this, I can add. So you get two yards of, of this one, but it's really cool. So I got these four colors. I think this is all they had, black, red, this mint green and white, but um, it's really cool. It's like, um, I hope y'all can see that. It's like woven. So if this would be perfect trim in a journal or on a ATC even, it's really flat. Um, maybe you can see it better this way, but it's like really pretty. You can make a bracelet with it. Not really, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't trust it, but. I just thought that was so pretty. You can get two yards of each. So I picked that up. I just got one of each. I got this. This is navy blue because I thought this would be pretty for 4th of July. Let me open this and show you. It It kind of looks like seam binding to me. I, I don't think it is. You get three yards of this one. This one was... This one was 74 cents. Marked down from 349 which is crazy because this one was $2.99, marked down to 99 cent. I don't understand how they do their, but isn't that pretty? I just thought that would be really pretty. And it's a beautiful blue. And then this is a repeat purchase. I actually purchased this um, before. It's uh, It was $7.99 and I, I bought it when it was, I think, for 50, 40 or fifty percent off, but now of course ribbon is forty percent off. Um, and but I got it for a dollar eighty-seven, and you get two yards of this one as well. It's really pretty. 
And then I picked up this. These are like denim. You get four yards each of this one. These were $4.99, marked down to um, $1.24. It says cut edge, glitter dots, denim ribbon, dark blue, and light blue. So $1.24 for four yards each. So I thought this would be pretty too. I might even use this in that ocean journal I'm working on because that will match the colors. Then I picked up these. These were the only two they had with the little pom-poms on the outside. These were $2.99, marked down to $0.74. Cents. Now tell me what sense that makes. These were both $2.99. This one was marked down to $0.99 cent and only has three yards. And this was marked down to $0.74 cents and has four yards. It don't make no sense to me. But that's a purple and then a, like a turquoise. And then I picked this one up. This one was open and there was only one. But it was $0.99, cent, three yards, and I think this was, yeah, three ninety nine. But it's really pretty. It's kind of like lace. What well, is lace? It's kind of like lace, but like with glitter. And the glitter does come off a little bit, but not nothing crazy. But I thought it was so pretty. So I grabbed it. I wish they had more. I might would've got two. Um, and then this one, um, you get three yards, $6.99, marked down to $1.74. This is nylon elastic lace in ivory. So I'm going to show you guys what this one looks like. So it's stretchy, first of all. A lot of these were open. Yeah, it's, ooh, it feels nice. <laughs> so it's stretchy, lacy, ribbon, so pretty. And you get, again, three yards, I think I said. And it's two and one, and one eighth inches wide. Oh, it feels so good. I like that. And then last but not least, I got this one. You get three yards. It was $5.99, marked down to $1.49. And it's like that blue, but bigger. And it's an ivory color. Ruffle scalloped edge ribbon is what they call it. And I just think it's really pretty. So my, I can fix, I mean, I can heat seal that. So not a big deal, but so pretty. I think this will be so pretty as an edger to a journal page. So that is my haul, you guys. I spent, in case you're wondering, for all this, Plus this, plus the paper pad. I spent, um, let's see, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, 57 98 so $59. I don't think that's bad at all for all this. I mean, the paper pad alone, regular price, was $23. So all of this and all those stickers, the sticker dies, this stuff, and then all this. That's not bad for 59 bucks. So anyway, um, if you haven't, go check out your Hobby Lobby. Y'all let me know if you start seeing the paper clearance out. I, not that I need more paper, but you know, FOMO. Fear missing out, y'all. Fear missing out. <laughs> um, also, check out my Ko-Fi shop. I have some stuff in there. I've put some new stuff in there. I have a couple of people that have purchased for me. If you need recommendations, like verification that I, I give more than than what you're paying um if i'm sure they can comment below and let you know but um be looking out for that video where i'm putting some new stuff in my shop and i'll see you guys soon and remember do something every day that will end you closer to a better tomorrow bye y'all